it's so easy to see performance as one aspect of music and then sort of the understanding of theory and history as a separate aspect. And traditionally in a lot of research universities and other colleges, there is this tension between theory and application, as there is, I think, in many other disciplines. Um, and the theorists would like to think of themselves as being, you know, the most important, and then the performers are saying, yeah, but we bring relevance to this, right? So we're more important. But it's really, the both have to be together. And for our students to understand intellectually why the music is great and to be able to articulate that in terms of theoretical structure, you know, the understanding of history and style, these elements, and then to bring that into the performance art makes their performances all the more compelling and powerful. Nothing to me is more wonderful than that aha moment when a student realizes that the reason a passage in a late Beethoven sonata is so sublime is not only because of the theoretical structure of this, sort of this unique and revolutionary way of using the piano, okay, the instrument itself, but knowing that this language that's coming from this genius mind was divinely inspired, that his whole soul longed for a knowledge of his maker, and that from that, this great music came forth. So those aha moments that you can translate or communicate to the student are so great. And what I hope for them is that when they're in the practice room or when they're studying music, that they feel that they're communing with God that literally what they're pursuing is an act of worship in the same way as when Beethoven put those notes down.